So my keys for success today, I really feel we're kind of a, a, a one-two punch kind of deal. Um, you know, I, I actually started getting on to this Buzzbait bike probably about two weeks ago uh, and started finding that I was catching a lot of fish on it. Uh, I was throwing this same Buzzbait, but I was throwing it without a trailer at the time. Um, and when I was throwing it without a trailer, I was catching lots of one and two pound fish and a couple of three pound fish, and I think I caught one four pound fish uh, without the trailer. Um, and so that's, you know, this is a, a special homemade buzz bait, you know, that I've made. Um, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what makes good buzz baits, and I'm sure a lot of people know this, but, uh, you know, one of the things that I've done is I've, I've kind of uh, worked this buzz bait in a little bit so that it squeaks. Um, it's got a little bit of a squeal to it, you know, when it spins. The, basically what I did, I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, but there's this little teeny piece out at the end of the arm here. I clamped that piece down uh, so that it doesn't spin at all. And so when the buzzbait blade spins against it, it really grinds against it and creates a little bit more of a squeal. Uh, I also took some really coarse sandpaper and just roughed up those edges a little bit to give it a little bit more of a, a squeak. Uh, and then the other thing that I've done is I've, I've taken this, uh, buzz bait and it's sat in, uh, in front of a big box fan for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, so you kind of wear that buzz bait in a little bit so that it gets a little bit of that uh, squeaky wheel kind of noise. Uh, so that's one thing that I've done to it. The other thing that I've done, this is kind of a custom uh, skirt that I've made, custom skirt color. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a, a gizzard chad. I looked at a picture of a gizzard chad and then in that picture I basically saw purple, white, and uh, yellow. Uh, so that's basically what I've, I've patterned my uh, buzzbait skirt after. It's uh, mostly a white with some purple and a little bit of chartreuse in it. Um, so that's uh, another thing that I feel is really key. Uh, another thing uh, is the, the shape of this buzzbait blade. The water's really warm right now. These fish are really active. You know, it was very much a reaction style bite today. Um, and so I wanted a quick moving buzzbait. And so this, you'll notice the shape of this buzzbait is very long and slender. That makes, that means, you know, when you're reeling that buzzbait through the water, you've got to reel it a lot faster to get it up on top. Um, that's another thing that uh, made this buzzbait so good today. Uh, the other thing, um, this is the, the second part of the one-two punch that I was talking about. First is the buzzbait itself. The second is the trailer. Um, and that's where uh, the Power Team Lures um, bait comes uh, into play. And I do feel like it was really important with my success today. Uh, like I said, I, find it, I started finding this pattern a couple weeks ago. And when I did, I was throwing it without a trailer. Well, uh, I, I tried putting on this JT Hammer Shack as a trailer. And I'll tell you what, those one and two pound bikes I got suddenly turned into three and four pound bikes. Um, almost all of my fish, you know, were, once I put this trailer on, I caught very few fish under like two and a half pounds. Pretty much everything is two and a half to four and a half pounds. And, uh, you know, I, I really feel like this, this tra adding this trailer is really up the size of my catch on it. Um, I've kind of, you know, I don't know if it's because of the action or if it adds a little bit more bulk to the bait, but I, I feel like that really made a big difference. Um, adding this uh, Power Team Lures JP Hammer Shad um, to this buzz bait to catch those bigger fish. I was throwing the money color today. Uh, it's kind of a purplish kind of bait fish color uh, and it, I feel like it really matched um, the color of my buzz bait. Um, so that worked really well. Another thing that's really important, I was throwing a trailer hook on here. Uh, I caught uh, my fair share of fish today on the trailer hook only. Um, other than the bait itself, uh, one of the other keys that's really important is, is your casting angle. Uh, making the right cast, um, especially on this lake when you're fishing shallow water, is critical. If you miss the target by, you know, uh, a foot, sometimes that can be the difference between no bite and an eight pounder. You know, that's how critical of a difference it makes on this on this lake sometimes. Uh, I was targeting very shallow, slow sloping, sloping banks today. Uh, with uh, wood was the primary thing that I was looking for. Lay down, brush, whatever. Uh, if it had a little bit of rock mixed in, all the better. Uh, we did at one point today get on a stretch that had some big boulders and caught some fish that were coming out from those big boulders as well. Uh, but again, shallow, shallow water uh, with good cover and uh, shade was another was another key. We caught uh, fish on the buzz bait all day long, all day long by keying in on the shade. And uh, you know, even if there wasn't visible shade, 
You know, if there's a big lay down or uh, a boulder or something, you know, under the water, there is shade under those pieces of structure, so those fish will hang out around them. So, anyways, it was a great day, and uh, hopefully y'all learned a little bit something about bug baits, and uh, you'll catch a big one on it next time. They're a heck of a lot of fun. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget your JP Hammer Shad. That's a must.